Frankenstein and Dracula and Wolfman too. Dancing with some zombies, what a ghastly crew. We all It's the Devious Diva here, and I'm bringing you my retro horror review. Today, I'm talking about Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds from 1963, so I hope you'll enjoy it. This is a favorite movie of mine. Next to Psycho, this to me was a good movie. I think that for some critics, it was not as good as Psycho, and I do get it. But this movie has some great action scenes. I think that the premise is really good. So I highly recommend it. It's at an hour and 59 minutes. You can watch it on Peacock. And I think that the performances in it are stellar. Two actors I want to talk about before talking about the premise. Tippi Hedren is the star of it. Her name is Melanie. Now, for some of you, that name means nothing. But you will probably know her daughter, who is also an actress and somewhat famous, Melanie Griffith, who was married to Don Johnson for a very long time. And she named her daughter after this character because it was her favorite role and she thought it was a beautiful name, which I like that name. The other actress that stands out that you would know is Veronica Cartwright. She plays a little girl in it named Kathy, but she goes on to be Lambert in the first Alien movie. And for those who know Witches of Eastwick starring Jack Nicholson, Cher, Susan Sarandon, and Michelle Pfeiffer, Veronica Cartwright plays Felicia Alden, who is the religious zealot that is very much afraid and aware that Jack Nicholson is basically the devil. So there's some pretty funny scenes um, in that movie of her. So people do know uh, Veronica Cartwright pretty well. And her sister was an actress as well. She was in a show called Lost in Space and some other things. But those are the two names that stand out. So Tippi Hedren probably doesn't mean much, but her daughter, Melanie Griffith, I think a lot of you would know cutesy blonde, has her mother's good looks. Anyway, so this came out in 1963. Alfred Hitchcock uh, had heard a story. It was a true life event type of thing. So I'm just looking at my notes for that. So I get this right. It was in a town called uh, Capitola, California. And in this seaside town in California in the 1960s, there were birds that it seemed like they were declaring war. Residents woke up and there were dead birds everywhere, smashing into their homes, on their lawn, at their cars. And in the 1960s, what they didn't know at that time is that it was because of um, the algae. It was uh, poisonous and toxic. And that was the reason the birds were acting out and just dropping like flies and just kind of you know flying into anything and everything. And so Alfred Hitchcock, hears about this story and thought, hmm, it would be interesting if all types of birds declared war on humans and our fight and struggle is with them. And I think it is an interesting premise. Um, the basic gist of the story is Tippi Hedren, who is Melanie, she uh, goes to a store, a pet store, and she pretends to be a cashier there and it's because there's a guy that she finds cute, his name is Mitch. He's there to get a pair of lovebirds for his little sister, who's Veronica Cartwright. So she pretends to be the sales clerk, and he knows that she's faking that, and he busts her chops a little bit. But long story short, she ends up buying the lovebirds, and she goes to a little seaside town called Bodega Bay, because that's where this guy Mitch lives with his mother, who is widowed, and his little sister Kathy, Veronica Cartwright. So she goes there with the lovebirds. Uh, on her way there, she's attacked by a gull. So therein starts some of the problem. Uh, as the story goes along, uh, she stays because the little girl, uh, the lovebirds were for her birthday. She has a birthday party. And there the birds start attacking the children and they're trying to save them. And there's different types of birds, um, crows, seagulls, a bunch of different uh, types of birds. So it's not just one type, it's just every bird that you can think of. Um, you know, crows being one of them. And throughout the movie, you see people's eyes getting pecked out. You know, these birds are just dying in front of people's houses. It's a very interesting and fun movie. A lot of people know it for pop culture references. There's a big scene of um, a person being in the telephone booth, you know, trying to make a call, and the birds are pecking their way through the telephone booth. 
there's, um, you know, people at a bar and, you know, there's one guy who's drunk and it's like the end of days to him about the birds. And there's this lady who thinks she's an expert about it and that birds can't, in their nature, they wouldn't kill you, but they absolutely are killing everybody. And there's no rhyme or reason. And to me, between the scenes, like all of the action that's in it and some of the death scenes, I also think it's just interesting altogether. Because if birds really did declare war, we would be screwed. It's not like, it's not the same, but just like the Alien franchise. You know, you're not going to sit there and reason with the alien. And no, you can't reason with Michael Myers or, or any masked killer. But they still have intellect. They still can have these human responses. You can't do that with an alien. You can't do that with birds. It's all instinctual. And the instinct is to kill. And so that's, to me, what makes it terrifying in an interesting story. I do think it's worth a look. I think some parts go a little slow for 1963. But the action and the storyline makes up for it. I think there's good acting in it. I think all around a great movie by Hitchcock. I think that Psycho for me is a favorite as well as a movie Rear Window that I'd love to do for retro horror, but I do think The Birds is a classic. It will always go down in history. They attempted to make a second one, I want to say late 80s, early 90s, bringing back the main actress, Tippi Hedren. Uh, it did not do well. I saw it. It was terrible. Sometimes you just have to let things be. I thought Psycho 2, Psycho 3, when they were bringing back the franchise or making it a franchise, I thought it was great. And they had a wonderful writer for Psycho 2, which was Tom Holland, who is director and partial writer for Fright Night and also the first Child's Play. Uh, Tom Holland, I think, is an amazing talent. I thought it was funny to see him acting in um, Adam Green's franchise for his uh, Hatchet movies. He was in the second one. So it's interesting to see him act, but I think he's, he's brilliant. And I credit him as a side note for the brilliance of Child's Play because it was partially his writing that helped that along. And also, he was the one to suggest Brad Dorif. That's a huge thing because people with Chucky wanted to pick people like, say, I don't know, Robin Williams on that idea. Maybe not him exactly, but a character actor for sure. And it was his brilliance to say, you know what, I worked with Brad Dorif. I like the voice. I think you guys will too. And now, Brad Dorf is Chucky and no one else can be him. So that's pretty smart on Tom Holland's part. But I digress. Alfred Hitchcock, who is the master of suspense, kills it with this movie. I love it. I hope you'll love it too if you haven't seen it. If you have, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Or if you like any of Hitchcock's stuff because he is amazing. And I want to talk about the Psycho movies, especially the fourth one, because there is an actress that I love. I talked to her on and off on Instagram, and she's such a lovely person. She's just wonderful, beautiful inside and out, great actress, kind-hearted. She was in the original um, It movie, and her name is Olivia Hussey, of course known for Black Christmas, uh, playing the main character, Jess. But she's such a, a beautiful person and great to talk to, and she was in the... Um, the fourth psycho portraying Norma Bates, so the uh, younger version of Norman Bates' mother, and it was pretty interesting to see the dynamics of the demented mother and son. So anyway, I digress and go on my rabbit trails, but circumventing back, The Birds 1963, check it out. It's one of Alfred Hitchcock's best movies, I would say. Um, you know, hour and 59 minutes, completely worth it, and it's one of my personal favorites that I recommend for retro horror. I hope you guys are enjoying your week. Um, I hope that you guys got to go see The Batman. If you haven't, please go see it. I can't say that enough. I can't say enough how wrong I was. When I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and Robert Pattinson really deserves all the best for that, and I can't wait to see um, the completion of a really good trilogy, so there's more good movies to come. So I will bring you more reviews, and I'm wishing you all just the best day, the best evening. I'm just busy cooking, baking, trying to keep busy. It's really snowy and dark here, which I love. I love winter. I love to freeze my ass off. Anyway, guys, I'm the Devious Diva, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>